Yup. Hi guys, this is your boy Martin and welcome to a Tuesday short video. Today, we're gonna turn that bike, customer's bike, uh, into something special. So we'll be applying wrap and in today's video, I will tell you basically uh, how to apply wrap on your Canem Riker. Why there is a difference between when you have a wrap on spiders and on Rikers. What to be prepared for, okay? Because you can see there are gaps, basically. Uh, some tips and tricks. I will tell you, like tell me who else does it in the world. I will tell you what I don't like about our wraps. There is a thing I simply don't like and I cannot do anything about it. However, I will also tell you something that it's absolutely unique and nobody does it. You can see it right over there. You can see it there. You can see it on the exhaust side right over there. So I'll tell you that. And I think I have a couple of more things to share with you. But anyway, Tuesday short video. So enough of this first 500 views, no video ads and no bullshit around straight to the point. So let's get started. Let's start with what I absolutely hate hate it's a correct word and that bag at something i really don't like i'm working with a company that is the best one on the market i believe it's the best one they have the best print best quality of the wrap plus they can do something that nobody else can do on the market all right but they have one stupid stupid thing they will send you the whole wrap in a in a bag like this all right so if you don't know what you're doing, it will take you 24 hours to wrap your Riker like completely without, without any break, even not for a pee, nothing. Like 24 hours straight work when I was doing my first two wraps, right? So what I'm talking here is this is what I will send you in case you will order it from me. And let's say the rear fender, it consists out of one, two, three, four, five things, all right? So sticker here, sticker here, sticker here. That's three, four, five, all right? Try to find that bloody thing in those, in that bag. Insane. I hate it, but I'm too small player from, for the moment to be able to persuade them to do it differently. I just, I just can't. Now, however, the better thing, what is absolutely unique, we do wraps on wheels. So whatever type of wheels you have, you have the sport version, basic version or rally. We can do that. We don't do PPAs. Um, this is the thing. We can put, this is a wrap, of course, carbon wrap, car carbon looking wrap. We can put it on CVT. I haven't seen anybody else doing this. Usually all the wraps stops there. And it, here is like, okay, we didn't have time to do anything in there. So on that thing, it's going to be completely white. So you will see that better than here. Why nobody people, why no other companies are really doing it? Or at least I don't know. It's because it's a very hot area and not all of the wraps can cope up with that heat. And we do the exhaust as well. So it, as, 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 Jesus, as, as you can see, it's a carbon wrap here, here, here. There is another part. So we all do all of this. So this is a good thing and a bad thing about my wraps. If you go on my shop, we have Le Mans, we have Bloody Mary, we have like four, five, six different designs. The GT is gonna be there. There are some wraps that are custom built and they are protected by the owners. The GT one you will be able to buy. All of these you are able to buy. And how it works on my shop, we have a basic wrap that goes up to here and you need to buy then extra. You need to write to me and you need to buy extra for CVT and exhaust area. This is what we have, guys. This is from Europe, okay? This bike is European model. I think in Australia they have the same. You don't have these alien lights, but we are able to wrap them. Uh, extra adds long fender. Automatically the wrap comes with a short fender, but extra adds a long fender in case you have the basic version. And, and shipping is extra. But best thing is to write ma to martinthevlogger at gmail.com and we will come with completely unique wrap or we will simply modify our existing wrap. So you can put your numbers in this case, remove the branding, put your own words, whatever. Now what we do need, 
And why I do not have any water in here, but mostly degreaser, hairdryer, some racks, clean racks, brand new racks, and what else? Of course, the wrap. Because this is not a typical wrap. This is glue-based wrap, okay? What I'm talking here, like many people have asked me, okay, Martin, do I need to spray water in order to be able to apply the wrap on, on Riker? Be very careful. This one, the Riker wrap, what we are using, um, it's a very strong glue behind that is actually activated by the heat. So you need to apply like 15 seconds on one area in case like this area goes here. Well, I will be doing it for about, I don't know, maybe a minute or something. So I'll be applying heat now nice and slowly. I'm not using heat gun. Don't bother to buy a heat gun because you can burn uh, the wrap. So hairdryer from your wife or yours, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care, I don't judge, whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you can use just a hairdryer, that's all fine. Now, as you can see, this is a regular wrap that is used on cars. It's old one, but it's very thin, all right? It's very, very thin. And this one, for this, applying this, you need water, you need to stretch it, you need to put it behind the corners. So really, if I would be applying that wrap, on the Riker, you will need to go around the corner, use the heat and whatever. It's not happening with this one, all right? This is much different. Come with me, actually, when we are talking about Kenemon Road vehicles. So if you are watching me, you know that this is Beast and it's a Spider F3. And because it has, uh, where it is? Still, this one is not wrapped. Because it has a clear coating on it, it the surface is very clean and shiny whatever so you need to really apply a wrap that goes on the edge okay so that's a different thing when we go back and we are talking Riker Riker is not coated it's just rough plastic and you can see those goosebumps can you see those I don't know maybe maybe here like everywhere are goosebumps and because of that we need to apply a glue, all right? Now, one thing I want you to be aware of, in comparison with a spider, you will always see these lines. There is no wrap at the moment that can cover those. And it's done because there are different styles. Somebody can use this as a complete uh, one piece. Somebody's using in different pieces, or we are using the, the shape on a gas tank like this because it's easier to to wrap it, uh, but you will always have those gaps. So be aware of that. Now, few tips, uh, how I start actually and what I do. Be ready, prepare yourself a coffee and have a, have a lot of patience. Patience is the key thing here, trust me. Now, first thing what I do, I divide my bike into few areas, okay? Areas how I will start to apply the wrap. First area, it's a hood. And, and these side plastics. I have area of fenders, left and right, that's my second area. All of the wheels, it's my third area. Uh, air intake, left and right, again, my area. Top, another area. I will get there while I'm, while I'm telling you all this. Sides, including this, next one. Finishing with CVT, uh, with exhaust, top of the exhaust, CVT, another one. A rear fender, another one, okay? What I'm trying to tell you, don't take everything out from the back. Try to find the right and correct pieces by using all of this. Uh, also, a thing here is you can see only two rims here. It's because we have two front, one at the back. The, the size is different. And what I'm doing is, this is rear fender, all right? I'll pull it on the side. What I'm trying to search now, where I will start, it's front, and this is front, uh, from mask, from face, from mask um, on the Riker. So that's what I will need. This is what I will need. This is what I will need. And I can go like this. This is now, this is the top. I can, this is front fender here. All right. Now, this is what I will do. Uh, and that's my routine to prepare part by part. Do not take everything out from the back because you can step on it in your garage. I don't know what kind of place you have. You can scratch it, you can put tiny rocks on it. You don't want to do that. 
Now, next thing is, uh, spring is here, it's nice and warm. So it's not really nice and warm, but it's okay. So 15 degrees plus is where I start to apply wraps. If there is no, in case customer really needs to do it in the winter, heat up your garage and make sure the plastics are heated up before applying. So not like turning on the heater in the garage before you, like 24 hours before. So really the plastics and especially the CVT area is nice and warm because otherwise the glue will simply not stick to it at the first moment, then you're done for the rest of the life of the, of the wrap. Always use degreaser, no matter if it's a brand new bike out from the shop, I think even worse, uh, or use the bike, clean it as much as possible, dry it, let it sit for 24 hours so there is no water. And this is a degreaser that I'm using, whatever, this is a technical gas, te technical petrol, uh, and I will always degrease it, heat it up, apply the wrap. So get the first parts ready and let's start wrapping. So how to install it? Well, uh, I'm, I'm starting with, the, with items or with parts that are, that are the easiest ones. And the easiest ones definitely front hood. Uh, so I'm starting here. Uh, you will need two racks. One I will always use as a degreaser. Uh, the other one, uh, both of them are completely clean and new. And the other one, it's for removing all the air and, you know, trying to stick the, uh, the part, the wrap there. Very good. Of course, remove all the jewelry so you're not scratching anything. And um, have the hair dryer ready. And I have my template ready. So all the parts that goes to the front, I have already ready. So I don't have to really move from the, from the bike. Usually I start with this area because it's very easy to position it. Remove these, um, what they are, like circles. Remove those. Uh, we have also option without this. Um, rally plastic front hood cover or we have it with that so if the customer already do have it we put it on the top just like that usually when I have a bigger pieces like this uh, I don't remove everything I just leave it like this uh, apply a little and when I was like looking how the how the wrap looks here it was not completely like on the hole so the so the template is a little bit I would say shorter but that's all right because with heating you can stretch up uh, the whole item okay that the wrap that you're doing so come with me I think it's gonna be better now in case you will do something wrong you can always remove it and put it back once I do not once I haven't applied uh, heat, it will not really stick super, super, super well on the, on the bike. So just like this, making sure everything is in the correct place. As you can see, it's not correctly there. So what we will do... Now, this part can be the, your first difficult part. And why difficult is because you will need to play around with stretching the material with the heat, okay? So, when you heat up, and you can see it on my first video that I'm using a heat gun a lot. Now, when I, will, when I would apply this just like that, uh, I will have big gaps in here, all right? So, when you slowly and you will see it on the video, maybe already you can see it. Uh, when I'm slowly applying heat, I'm able to, to move it around, to stretch it a little. Don't go crazy because you are able to stretch it with the heat and the, the rabbit's quite elastic, but you are not able to, 
to shrink it back so you can very easy damage the thing and my advice here is rather to have a little bit asymmetric gap comparing to your other side and live with that because trust me it's all about the complex wrap than to play a tiny bit with inches and half inches and micromillimeters and at the end you will ruin your whole part okay so I'm trying to always check the other side as well how I have applied it and you now you can see like if I will just go I don't know if you can see it there but it will be not nice and around the corner so I'll need to apply heat there also heat here what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna hook it on few places so it sticks position it as I like from the beginning so here on the edge it's okay, here it is kind of okay. So now here it's nice and like I want it. So this part is okay, this part is something I don't like but we will need to live with a tiny bit of difference here. That's simply the fact and how these rips are done. Now I'm a little bit further with the installation and when I'm talking about stretching this, this, this wrap, you are able to stretch it. Of course, don't overdo it because as I told you, you are not able to shrink it. But have a look at this piece. So it's a big piece that goes around your desk key and from the bottom will be all fine. But simply at, at the top, I will not be able to reach uh, this line over here and I would like to get as close as possible to that line so it looks much better so have a look how much heat I will apply how I will pull it so this is a great example so I'm preparing the the kit I'm already applying it and you can see it's not nice in here uh, and I'm not super happy how how it is on the top the other side was a little bit different for me also here it's way too too low so what i will do um, i will use the hair dryer and i will will try to move it a little bit higher like this you see so we need to position it And also the gap over here, I can play a little. So just gently. What it's very crucial, and you have seen that I was able to undo this part and stick it back. You can do it once or twice, but only when you are, like I recommend to do it when you are applying it heating it with the gun, doing the next part, do it again. But once it sits there for a day, don't do it because you will never be able to reactivate the glue. That's my experience. So um, Alpha and Omega, it's patience, accepting the facts that here it's like this. On the other side, it's tiny bit like this. But I'm telling you, like once the bike will be completely done, it's a whole complex and you will not see or maybe you will see it but nobody else will see those tiny let's say let's call them mistakes or gaps well it's very important take your time and use the hair dryer 15 seconds on one place on one area okay so one area it's here like whatever you are able to heat up the place because the glue needs, well, according to the manual, it needs 15 seconds 
to be heating up in order to be able to stick to the bike, okay? Now, usually what I do, once the whole wrap is over, I don't allow anyone to touch it and go for a ride. I'm waiting for a nice sunny day and I leave it on the sun, the whole bike, whole day. So the glue is really cooked also naturally to the bike, okay? What is absolutely amazing about the wrap is that you can remove it at any moment. You can apply a new wrap and the bike won't, won't be damaged, okay? Now, a lot of work ahead of me. Hopefully I have told you everything that I know. Uh, do not overstretch your items. That's my last thing. Do not overstretch them. Do not overstretch them here when you have some nice graphics because it will be visible. The, the whole rep will be kind of wavy and you will be not able to do anything about it. Okay. Once you like overstretch it, it's done. Okay. This is Tuesday short video. In case you would like to see like how the whole wrap will look, uh, wait for the video about the upgrade because we are doing much more things, many more other things, like many more other upgrades to this customer's bike. In case you would like to buy these wraps, martindovlogger.com slash shop. In case you would like to come to me or there are even customers who are hiring me to come to them and do the wraps, do the upgrades, martindovlogger at gmail.com or tours on three.com in case you would like to experience Slovakia or Europe on three wheels. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, wrap your Riker because it's super cool. And always have fun. And top tip for those that are watching till the end, we need to remove this reflection kit. And I was already talking about this in my previous videos. They are fading away anyway <laughs> from the beginning. It's just terrible. And you can replace those with of course LED lights but what we have here there are high reflective kits available for your front fenders we have also one additional color it's yellow but we will apply white red or black and how it looks oh well, you can see let's say on Le Mans this is a black reflective kit and in the evening it's super visible like high reflective kit not like me at the moment, I'm old. Anyway.